I had somebody there a while back ask me how I load logs on my bandsaw mill without a grapple and without a log loader. So when the truck delivers to me, although we didn't do a very good job here, I had too many. Uh, I got a loader I can lift this up with, but the loader's not good for loading on the sawmill because it's not a grapple. But usually what they do is they load it on these bunks I made. Now I got to redo them and make them bigger because they've proven not to be big enough. And um, so they load them on the bunks. The bunk is sitting by the sawmill. And as you can see here, I got a couple of rough cut 4x4s. And uh, I use popple or maple or whatever. And this is a 16 foot log, but I need eight foot pieces. So just for ease of, of uh, and this works just as well. Like this holds up 16 and 17 foot logs. I can cut 17, six on the sawmill and I roll uh, 30, 25, 28 inch logs here the other day, uh, 17 foot long. And this holds them up. I mean, these are actually, this one is maple and this one is popple. Um, I actually prefer to popple. It's pretty strong and it's lighter than, you know, but they're not that heavy. And, uh, as you can see here, I'm just for, I had to wiggle this one on a little bit because I cut this log in half, but it only took a couple of seconds and you just roll it on like that. I'm using one hand, but roll it on the sawmill. And then I just take these and slide them back in because, you know, you have to, walk back and forth a lot of these sawmills on the side you load it on now in the wood miser you walk on the other side on the older ones anyway i'm not sure so sure but the new ones and of course a lot of them they, the remote operator stands back and operates them but this one's not that fancy i mean this is a real good quality sawmill this is an smg champion which anybody who's watched my videos before knows all about that's i'm not getting paid to show you that it's just that you know this is an all welded frame construction it's been very tough i've had it for just about a decade now and it's worked very very well with me for for me but originally i had ramps on the sawmill when i first started and i would put them something like that and i would roll them up well that's just way too much work i mean you know that's that's crazy so the truck comes now and i can load them with my loader like I, I I can't twist things and lay them down nice with the loader, and I have, but I have put them on the sawmill with it. But it's not handy like a grapple, you know. So the easiest way for me to load with the loader is I can grab three or four logs with wrapping a chain around them and lift them with the loader. The loader will lift them no problem. Lay them on the bunk and just set out these. And if I'm real concerned about the weight of the log, I don't know where it is right now, but I have a third one of these. I'll put, just put three of them across if I'm real concerned. It's, if it's a big, heavy, green log. And I'm concerned I'll break it because the last thing I want is three ton of log down here between the sawmill and this here to try and pick it up. I got to move the sawmill. It's just, just a pain in the butt. And I don't want it moving the sawmill because I have it leveled, right? You know, I have set and leveled and I check it every couple of weeks. And But I mean, it's all welded frame. If it goes a little crooked, it doesn't matter. The frame stays straight on this particular model. But yeah, so that's how I do it. I just pull out the my four by fours here roll it in set my dog start cutting bob's your uncle uh good slabs go to firewood bad slabs go over the pile and i burned them abby's over there checking the pile because we're probably going to burn this afternoon i think the burn ban is lifted after two and uh and that's how we do it so if you build yourself a set of bunks semi-permanent bunks or permanent bunks and then i can hook onto the sawmill pull it out take my loader clean up the sawdust push it back you know because i mean you can't really tell i've hauled a lot of it away and dumped over yonder but this is a great big hole here i mean this was set on the edge of a basically a drop point from here and this this sawdust right here is probably six feet deep right there and back there it's probably eight or ten feet deep or more i mean it's you know people have produced more sawdust but there's lots here and i've hauled a lot of it away with the loader too and dumped other places so i mean you make a lot of sawdust doing this this stuff and the way the bunks are set up every year or two now i'm getting ready to make a whole new setup i'm going to fill this in and put it over here but i can lift up the bunks with the loader move them they're all bolted together and clean out all the bark underneath of it and push it over to over the bank i mean if you don't want to do that you don't have to but i 
I find the bark gets in the way after after a while. So, but yeah, so that's how I load logs on here, and I can do it by myself, one-handed, like I just did with the, you know, while using the the phone. And uh, you know, I'm not blowing my rectum out trying to roll, you know, uh, 800 or 1,000 pound logs up a ramp because I mean I did that. You know, and, and if you're at this racket, you're moving big logs. This steel PV hook, this is this aluminum one. I'm gonna tell you, I can't tell you the, 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 the leverage that I've got with this and I've never bent it. I've hooked a loader to it and everything. This is one strong unit. I probably don't make them as strong now. I've had this one 10 years, so probably the new ones are made in China, but who knows. Everything that was good, to, these companies tend to muck up. Same as this cant hook. This is a steel cant hook that I've had for 20 years. It's the same handle. And we had a new one here a little while ago that came with a steel, with a, the steel came with a steel handle. And we bent it after like four days. <laughs> it was junk. Anyway, that hickory holds up. But yeah, so build a bunk, a couple of four by fours, rolled them on all day long. And I just put a stop down here. Or if I really need to stop bad, what I'll do is I'll take these here and I build a bunk in a, in a cribbing type thing here. And I'll tuck them down in there like that. And it stops them from rolling down and crushing me. And it's worked well. I haven't been crushed. And uh, I've loaded hundreds of logs like this by myself. Like when my son's helped me, it's easier. But he, uh, he's got a, his own life and job to live. So getting them down here is harder and harder these days. So I'm doing a lot of this, this stuff myself, and this is the easiest way to do it, you know, that I found. If you got an easier way, I'd love to hear about it, because, I mean, anything that makes this job easier, <laughs> I'm all for it. But for anybody who hasn't got this kind of setup and you find this helpful, uh, I'm, I'm happy, because I'll tell you, this has worked real well for me. And, uh, you now it took me a day or day and a half to saw some stuff and make this, you know. But I've had it for five or six or seven years, I don't know how long now. This is all popple. This is all popple. I only ever broke one of them. That's because I dropped a great big green pine on it. Uh, the, the chain slipped and it only fell a foot, but you know, that was enough. It snapped one of the popples back in the back over there, but I since replaced it. Other than that, we've had oak, spruce, every kind of wood that's in Eastern Canada on it. And, um, and some of them have been dropped pretty hard. And sometimes my buddy comes with his logging truck and his grapple and drops five or six or eight logs at a time, whatever he can grab. And it's held up well so now you can see we've got it I've got three supports under this I've got them about every six feet you know you can't have them eight feet or ten feet apart I mean with this uh, with the, these are six by sixes you <laughs> you'd snap them off but you know so anyway I hope that helps somebody cheers <laughs>